So we are rank 15. We just have to win a couple short games and we'll make it from dual level 15 to dual level max, which will allow us to participate in the next stage of the dual links gauntlet. So very important that we get there. We've lost one game on our ascent from 10 to five. Hopefully we can keep that streak alive. Our opponent is playing Joey. I've already won. Three drill dark. Okay, chat, place your bets now. What do you think this zero extra deck Joey Wheeler is playing? I'm seeing Monarchs, despite the fact that there's no Monarchs in this uh, game. True Draco, again, I think you all are a little too TCG brained. You gotta think a little more like a monkey. Uh, let's go, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, grab your banana. And what do you think he's playing? Desk bots. See, that's closer. That's more what we're talking about. Uh, we're going to keep the one Drill Dark in hand uh, because then our top deck being a Destiny hero means that we can make a four before we do anything. It is literally so obvious, says chat. Okay, chat, if it's so obvious, what is it? I didn't see Grit activate. It's actually Watts. Dad Phony, how did you do that? Do you see? In chat, Dad Phony said it's Watts out of nowhere. I play casual ladder, I know this. Whoa! <laughs> no! Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Okay. Have you read Clock Tower Prison? All right, chat, quick question. Why do you never see these bots online anymore? I got an easy one for you. It's because they literally cannot be malevolent sin. You all wanted me to take this motherfucker out of my deck, and I'm going to show you why I didn't. I sure love reading. And because I know it's a bot, there's literally zero shot that it is going to be able to uh, understand what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. Bye bye. Do they have a hand trap? This bot made one critical error. He decided to queue up for duel links instead of subscribing to twitch.tv slash MBT Yu-Gi-Oh. We got any bots in chat? Let's see some Mr. Destructoids. Okay, water exes. We can do this as long as we open pretty well and they don't set three. First step failed. This is quite literally the best hand they could have opened. If that third card is also a set, I lose. There's nothing I can do about it. Can you believe that there's all this fun stuff you can do in this game and some people still voluntarily decide to dwell or pass? Actually disgusting. Cider is perfect. Uh, we're going to get greedy here. I don't think I can safely go into the Clock Tower Prison into two back row. This deck is so in on back row hate. Wow, and we were rewarded. Oh, that's incredible. From my hand, I activate a spell. Look and learn. They're thinking about what to do here. Hmm. Uh, I think threat of death means that I'm going to clock here. If this clock trades for an MST, that's crazy. So we'll activate the clock. If they don't immediately respond by popping it, we can win the game here. I activate my field spell, Clock Tower Prison. Wow, that was such a punt. Why would they do that? I'll take the MST, please. I don't think they understand what our win condition here is. It's not activating Clock Tower Prison. It's normal summoning Stratus. So Stratus's pop effect doesn't target. So if they want to change something, they got to do it right now. They're thinking about it. But it also doesn't do exactly what they want either, right? Because if they change something, I can pop the one they didn't chain. All right, they're just going for the Abyss Dweller here. I think I'm going to chain the MST. No, I can wait. Treacherous. Oh, that's kind of a problem. It's not that big of an issue. Book. Targeting my Brave Neos. Wow, that's rough. We're losing everything here. Wow, we lost this game. Oh... Two good ones. I'm ending my turn. Oh, gosh. That's rough. I don't think you needed to MST there. Yeah, I was hoping that it was something we could bait out, like another MST or something. Not a lot I can do about Tretch Book Diva in your opener. I know this looks bad, chat, and I don't want to downplay this. It is very bad. 
But if we're not dead here, we might be fine. Or they'll have the second diva. You know, that is also possible. It is that is also possible. This will work. Let your roar create tidal waves and We've just decided we want to lose to Tretch. They're like, it doesn't matter. Here comes number 47. Nightmare shock. Full armored exceeds. Unnecessary. Oh, I'm glad they drew back row too. That's important. yourself to the mercy of the court hi 30 card life point alpha officer tetsu trudge chat what do you think that they're playing my monsters effect activate seeing a lot of thunder dragon a lot of light sworn and a significant amount of a pile i think that you are probably the closest all right chat very very important question for everyone in chat a cap does it include officer tetsu trudge Trudge is actually super based later on in the show. No, no, no. My dad's a cop. Uh, they're really cool, actually. That's what I hear from you people. Nice to see so many so-called free thinkers towing the party line until they hear that their fave, their kinney, is actually a cop. What the fuck? Who sets three? Police officers. All right, I'm going to show you all a really based uh, interaction. Did you know that uh, Mast Hero Blast is Harpy's Feather Duster? How was that, chat? How was that one? You know, a lot of people say defund the police, but I'm the only one actually doing it. One elo point at a time. I'm gonna banish the light. Is this guy's name Ratio? I activate my monster's effect. I activate my monster's effect. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Red Rising Dragon. Activate your effect. This is a really fun and interesting combo. Okay, let's figure this out. KC's gonna be really funny. Kinda rough. We have to do it this way because we want the additional card in hand for the end phase karma cut. This is an easy MST for our opponent. People, you gotta stop letting me do this. If your intention is to get rid of the clock tower prison, do it before I can activate the skill that adds a card to my hand. Okay, uh, we're gonna blind here. We already have enough in our hand. We're gonna set three pass. No reason not to uh, pop off a little bit. Resonator call. Great. Uh, which one of these two is better to get rid of? Any thoughts? Here, well, I can't get rid of Crimson. It's cosmic. Hit the cyclone, dude. That was perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. They have to draw a truly incredible card off the top because we are going to fuck them up. See ya. And we can probably keep them off that again. How many times do you get to do this? This is the last time. Alright, sick. I knew you'd try that. There never was a king. Wandering King Wildwind. And I'm out here wondering how you're playing this deck post nerf. <laughs> like and subscribe. Oh god. Listen, chat, I'm not misogynist, but I cannot take Sarah's voice. Hey, listen, listen to this. The cards will decide our fate. Duel. Okay, that one was not that bad. From my hand, I activate a spell and learn. We are telegraphing just a little here by getting Celestial, but I, I don't think there's too much our opponent can do about it, honestly. The mystical-based typhoon. I set a monster. What? I end my turn. Is there something here I'm not understanding? I draw. Hmm, that was like the worst draw in my deck. I guess let's try it, right? Oh, fuck. Super Heavy Samurai Sarah, why? Uh, of course, it's Trumpeter. There goes Clock. I should have just not summoned the Celestial so that I could uh, proc Clock if I wanted. 
Big Waraji is fine. Big Waraji is fine. Soulhorns is fine. Also fine. Do you not run the spider? I do. I, I just wasn't thinking. Excuse me? Your time is up. My monster attacks. Well, I guess I deserved that one. Holy shit!